when the sun someday slowly passes Until then, you have to live with yourself Until then, you have to live with yourself I don't make music, music makes me So if I feel like I control it, then I can have writer's block I can do an album, a song, I, I don't really believe in that really I think that's, if you try too hard, I can understand you could get frustrated, but if you don't try, it's, it's not brain surgery. Yeah? Tricky had no musical training and wrote his first lyrics on his great grandma's concrete floor, but his debut album was a huge hit. Don't mind the crowd, search for the spaces, and turn around, time's gone, you said about it, it wasn't because I'm a genius, it was because I don't know what I'm doing. I've changed my mind about that. I think I am a genius. No, I'm joking. It's naive, the music, all my music is very naive, so I have no rules. So some people say, this is offbeat, or this is two blues notes, uh, two blues notes next to each other. Apparently that's not right. But I've never been taught, you know, so I just do what I want to do. It was with the collective massive attack that Tricky first came to prominence. He was soon getting fan mail from David Bowie. But he claims it was difficult for him to get radio play because of his colour. Is it different today? Not much has changed. You know, you have your little genres, urban music. I don't think Radio 1 ain't going to play me, and it's not a demographic. I don't think it's changed. And you've got a class system here also, you know? So you've got the black thing and the class system. Yeah, that's very interesting. You say in the book, you think those two things are connected more than people realise. If you see most of the people who work in TV record companies, they all went to good schools. And you go to radio, there's no one like me who is working in Radio 1. Hip-hop stations, urban radio, there's no one like me who's doing urban radio, presenting urban radio, so... Why is that still the case, do you think? Because I come from a shit school. <laughs> we lose our voice much Maybe we won't bring soon Is there cancer in the throat? No stress Tricky writes fondly of his childhood in Bristol, though by most standards it was difficult. Family members involved in violent crime, his mother's suicide when he was four years old. Have you thought about mental health? I don't mean just personally for you, for people generally. There's a lot of talk about that now. Everybody's going to struggle in their life, so yeah, of course. I wondered if that was maybe a class thing. Perhaps it's easier for middle class people to come out and say, I've got mental health issues. My grandmother, right? She, I don't know if she would know what therapy was. She's like, pull your socks up and get on with it. So it's not just men or middle class, it's a generation thing. So. They, you know, they had hard lives. So I think, like, if I said to my man, I was doing therapy, she wouldn't really understand it. I know you live in Berlin, but there's been a lot of um, talk about knife crime in the UK, in London, but not only London. But reading your book, there was a problem or an issue with that in Bristol, you know, 30 years ago. England's always been violent. You know what I mean? It's just a different kind of violence. It's a different age group of violence. But England's always been violent, you know, it's, you know, there's been, in the 80s, there was loads of, like, organised murders. And if you don't give the kids something to do, if you don't try and make the schools better, you know, it's, it's education and occupying the mind. There's no youth clubs, there's no, there's nothing for the kids to do except hang out on the streets. If kids hang out on the streets, there's going to be problems. But, I mean, you probably wouldn't have found s many of your schoolmates carrying knives when you went to school, or was that happening? People were getting stabbed up, yeah. When I was younger, people were getting stabbed up. It was just a different way. It's just younger kids doing it now. Tricky's planning a new record and a tour, but don't expect to see him in a polling booth near you. I've never voted in my life. I don't believe in politics. I, I, I think that two-party, three-party is just like the illusion of choice. I don't think there's no choice. So I don't vote, so I don't really get involved. 
But I suppose people would say if you don't vote or if people en masse don't vote, then they have no say. Nothing's changed since I've been alive. And people have been voting for years. I don't see any change, really. It seems like it's all one party, right, to me. I, I don't see any change. But maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like, to me, nothing really changes.